Okay, so again, we have here um, the problem. What is the volume in liters occupied by 49.8 grams of hydrogen chloride at standard temperature and pressure? So again, the ideal gas equation is pressure times volume is equal to the amount of gas times the gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin. Okay? So, since volume ang ato ang uh, pangitaon here, we need to derive um, our equation. So, just like what we used in the previous na problem, uh, yung equation yung atong gamitan will be volume is equal to the number of moles ng gas times the gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin over pressure. Okay? So, we already have um, the gas constant which is equal to uh, 0 0.0821 um, liters times ATM over Kelvin times mole and then yung pressure natin here since it is STP man so yung standard pressure is equal to 1 ATM and then your standard the temperature is 0 degree Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. See, amount of gas is in moles. So, this one is 14.8 grams ng hydrogen chloride. We need to convert that one into moles para ato magamit sa equation. Okay? So, we will need to use the molar mass of hydrogen chloride to convert its mass to a uh, number of moles. Okay? So, the molar mass of um, hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. Okay? And then, ang molar mass of chlorine is we have 35.45 grams per mole. So, the molar mass of hydrogen chloride is um, 36.458 grams per mole. So, mona ato ang um, gamiton uh, to get the number of moles ng hydrogen chloride. So, we have here, let's have another color. So, we have 49.8 grams of HCl. Multiply that with its molar mass. One mole of HCl is equivalent to 36.458 grams ni HCl. Okay? Cancel natin yung grams. Cancel natin yung grams. So... Let's divide 49.8, okay, 49.8, 49.8 divided by 36.458, and the answer will be 1 point. Let's convert or round off our answer to three significant figure, 1.36. The next the number in the 6 is 5, so this will be 1.37 mole. Okay, so we have here 1.37 mole. So, ato ang pangitaon again is yung volume. Okay, so let's um, shrink. Okay. Para solve that with our equation now. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so again, the equation at the is this one V is equal to the number of moles times the gas constant times temperature over the pressure. So V is equal to number of moles na 10 is 1.37 uh, mole times the gas constant 0 
821 liters of ATM over Kelvin over mole times the temperature which is 273 because standard temperature tayo Kelvin divided by the pressure of 1 ATM okay so the volume here is equal to let's use our calculator so we have 1.37 times 0. Point, um, 0 0.0821 times 27 uh, 273.15 is equal to 30.72 so let's round off our answer into three significant figure so we have here the volume of this um, of this gas of this ideal gas is 30.7 um, liters okay so by the way cancel natin yung the same na mga units mole kelvin kelvin atm atm then the remaining unit is liters so the answer here is 30.7 liters yung volume ng gas at standard ATP and then um, na siya ay mass ng 49.8 grams okay so that's it for this problem okay so again as what I have said uh, the ideal gas equation is useful for problems that do not involve changes in pressure volume temperature and um, the amount of gas sa ato ang gas sample okay however if there there are changes okay however if there are changes we need to deal with those changes so that is why we need to um, derive again the equation ng ideal gas into a combined gas law okay so when conditions change, we must employ a modified form of the ideal gas equation that takes into account the initial and final conditions ng ating um, gas. Okay? So, um, the modified natin or yung derived natin na equation from, from the ideal gas equation is this one here so we have here um, P1 times V1 over N1 times T1 is equal to P2 times V2 over N2 times T1 okay so, if there are changes sa ato ang um, properties ng gas na ito, sa ideal gas, we will use this formula. However, uh, since um, kasagaran sa mga gas problems na ito is wala nag-change ang, ang N or yung amount ng gases, um, we can also rewrite the equation into this one. P1 times V1 over P1 is equal to P2 times V2 um, over T2. Okay, it should be T2 here. It's not T1. Okay? So, T2. So, kung um, fix yung amount ng, mol, uh, amount ng mole ng gases, we will use this formula. Okay? For example, in this uh, in this problem, a small bubble rises from the bottom of a lake. When the temperature and pressure are 8 degrees Celsius and 6.4 atm to the water surface, when the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1.8 atm, calculate the final volume in milliliters 
of the bubble if its initial volume was 2.1 milliliters. So, nadaw isa kabula, nagikan sa ubos sa lake, may pasaka siya. Okay? So, sa ubos sa lake, ang um, temperature is 8 degrees Celsius, and then ang pressure niya is 6.4 atm. And then, sa surface sa lake, ang um, ang temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and then yung pressure is 1 atm. Okay? So, yung initial volume daw ng bubble, okay, yung gas nga nasa bubble, is 21.1 mm. All we need to do is to find the final volume. So, again, we have the initial temperature which is 8 degrees Celsius or Um, convert natin yan into Kelvin. So, 273 plus 8, that will be 281.15 Kelvin. And then, yung final temperature is 25 degrees Celsius or um, 273 plus 225, that will be 298. 298.15 Kelvin, and then we also have initial, okay, initial nga pressure sa ubus sa lake, which is um, 6.4 atm, okay, initial pressure, okay, is 6.4 atm, and then the final pressure is 1.0 atm. And then we have an initial volume, which is 2.1 milliliter. And then the final volume ang ato ang pangitan. So in this case, constant yung amount or yung kadaghanon ng gas na nasa bubble. Okay? Yung initial at saka yung final amount ng gas is constant. So we will use um, this formula, P1 times V1 over T1 is equal to final pressure times the final volume over the final temperature. However, ang ato ang pangitaon here is only V2. Okay? So, para makancel na to si P2 o si T2, we will multiply both sides with T2 over P2. Okay? Multiply na to both sides with T2 over P2. Okay? So, cancel si T2, cancel si T2, cancel si T2, cancel si P2. So, mabilin na lang here sa right side is si V2. So, V2 is equal to T2 times P1 times V1. Okay? T2 times P1 times V1 over P3 times T1. Okay? So, that will be our equation na gamiton for this problem. Okay? So, we have here again, volume 2 is equal to, asa ito? Um, volume 2 is equal to T1, T1, V1 is equal to, um, alam ba naman tayo? T2 pala. We have here T2, T1, and then V1 over P2 over T1. Okay, tama ba? Wala naman tayo P3 din niya. It's not P3. Ang sa mga gigan ng P3. Okay, P2. That will be that will be the formula that we are going to use. Okay, so let us now substitute the value of our given. So, a final temperature is again 298.15 Kelvin times initial pressure, which is 6.4 atm times the initial volume, which is 2.1 mm, divided by 
the final pressure, which is 1 atm, times the initial temperature, which is 8, um, it's not 8, it's 281, 281, 281.73 plus 881, okay, 281.15 Kelvin, okay, cancel natin yung the same na mga units, ATM, ATM, Kelvin, Kelvin, remaining unit is um, ML, okay, so V2 is equal to, multiply natin yung sa numerator, and then multiply po natin yung nasa denominator, ang ilang answer, ito ang E divide. Okay? So, we have 298.15 times 6.4 times 2.1. Okay? Answer is 4,007 something. Divided by 1 times 281, 281 gap 281.15. So, the um, final volume, okay, so the final volume is 14, okay, 14 point, um, 14 point, para significant figure tayo, 14 point, 253, 253, okay, okay, so, the final volume is nag-increase siya. It's because nag-increase po ang temperature na to from, six, or from 8 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. So, ang volume ng gas will also increase. Okay? So, from 2.1 ml to 14.253 ml. Okay? So, that's it for this problem. Another problem natin, we have here a gas initially at 4.0 liters, 1.2 uh, atm yung pressure. Uh, this is 66 degrees Celsius. Let me edit this one first. This should be 66. Okay. And then this one is 42 degrees Celsius. So again, we have a gas na ay initial volume of 4.0 liters, initial pressure of 1.2 atm, initial temperature of 66 degrees Celsius. Undergoes a change so that its final volume and temperature are 1.7 liters and 42 degrees Celsius. So, what is its final pressure assuming the number of moles remains unchanged? So, yung kadaghanon sa gas particles is wala na usab. Okay? So, again, we will use the equation, <coughs> yung combined gas law na equation natin. Okay? We have P1 times V1 over Q1 is equal to P2 times V2 divided by the final temperature. However, here, ang atong ipangita is yung final nga pressure. Okay? So, para final nga pressure, ang mabilin din niya, we will multiply both sides by T2 over V2. Then, upward, T2 over V2. Okay? Multiply na po siya. Cancel T2, cancel T2, V2, V2. So, yung formula nga ito ang gamiton is, uh, we have here, P2 is equal to P2 times P1 times V1 divided by V2 times T1. Okay? So, yung final temperature natin is 42 degrees Celsius. Again, convert natin that one into Kelvin to 273.15 plus um, 42, that will be 315. Okay? So, final temperature natin is 315.15 Kelvin. 
initial pressure na to is 1.2 atm. Okay, initial pressure is 1.2 atm. Initial volume is 4.0 liters divided by um, final na volume natin is 1.7 liters and then yung initial na temperature is 66 degrees Celsius again ito ala siyang i-convert into Kelvin add lang ta ng 273 um, and then change the unit into Kelvin that will be 339.15 Kelvin Okay, cancel natin yung the same na units. Cancel sa liters, cancel sa liters, cancel sa Kelvin, cancel sa Kelvin. The remaining unit is ATM. So, P2 here, okay, ito ang ipang multiply yung numerator at saka denominator and then divide by yung natin. So, we have 3.15.15 times, natin point 315.15, 315.15 times 1.2 times 4.0 4.0 is equal to okay uh, we have here uh, 1 5 1 5 1 12 point 72 atm divided by okay so divide na to sa product sa 1.7 and 339.15 okay so 1.7 times 339.15 is equal to 576.555 okay so divide natin na siya 15112 Point seventy two divide five seven six point five five five. So the answer is two point something. So let's round off um, our answer into six significant figure two point six two point six two three. Okay, tanong na po sila. 2.623 and then 72. Okay, ATM. Okay, so yung pressure is nag-increase. Okay, increase ang ato ang pressure. Okay, again, the final pressure for this problem is 2.62372 atm. It's because our volume decreases. Okay, nag, -vol nag decrease ang volume. So, um, volume and pressure is inversely proportional. So, pag nag increase, uh, decrease the volume, mag increase ang, ang pressure. Okay, so the initial pressure is 1.2 atm. The final pressure here is 2.62 372 ATM. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Okay. Um and the same lang siya. Okay. So we are done with um, gas laws and gas equations. Um let me also discuss this um this one. It's very short lang na um topic, subtopic. Okay, it's all about the kinetic molecular theory of gases. When we say kinetic, it, it involves about the movement of gases and the energy that they produce. Okay? So, the gas laws help us to predict the behavior of gases, but they do not con explain what happens at the molecular level to cause the changes we observe in the macroscopic world. Okay? For example, why does a gas expand on heating? Okay? Um, nga naman po nga mag-contract ang uh, gas pag pabug na won. Okay? So, it was Ludwig Boltzmann and James Clerk Maxwell uh, who 
tini ang provided the explanation as to the physical properties of gases um, and its kini ang relationship sa motion of individual molecules. Okay? So, yung physical properties daw ng gases can be explained in terms of the motion of individual molecules. So, this molecular movement is a form of energy which we define as the capacity to do work or to produce change. Again, energy is the capacity to do work or to produce change. So the findings of Maxwell, Boltzmann, and the others resulted in a number of the generalizations about the gas behavior that have since been known as the kinetic molecular theory of gases or simply the kinetic theory of gases. Okay? So here are the assumptions of the kinetic molecular theory of gases. First, a gas is composed of molecules that are separated from each other by distances far greater than their own dimensions. Okay, so yung gas particles, they are far away from each other, especially if the container nga, uh, na contains sila is large or kini ang um, nakuang space nga ila hanggi gi occupy. Okay, so the molecules can be considered to be points that is they possess mass but have a negligible volume. Okay, the second assumption, gas molecules are in constant motion as you can see in uh, our kini ang simulation kanina. Let me go back here to our simulation. Okay, okay, so always nga ang gas they are in constant motion. So, yung gas particles, they are always in constant motion. Walay gas particles nga gapundo lang in one place. As you can see here, okay, kuha na pagamay. Okay, as you can see here, in this um, simulation, okay, yung gas particles, each of this circle here, okay, represents a gas particle. So, every gas particle is in constant motion. Okay? Wala siya ga stop. No? It's already, it's always moving. Alright? So, collisions among molecules are perfectly elastic, which means that energy can be transferred from one molecule to another as a result of collision. Kung magbangga daw itong mga gas particles or gas molecules, there is a transfer of energy nga mahitabo from one molecule to another molecule. Nevertheless, the total energy of all the molecules in a system remains the same. So you can see here, um, here, yan. Um, yung energy in this system, okay, is the same siya, although na ay transfer of energy from one molecule to another molecule, yung energy here is still constant. Okay? The same siya. Just like this one. Okay? So, the average kinetic energy here is 4.05. Okay? So, wala ka change yung average kinetic energy. Mag-change lang na siya if ato ang uh, usabon ang isa ka properties ato ang system. Okay? So, that's it. Uh, let's proceed with the next um, assumption. Third one. Gas molecules exert neither attractive nor repulsive forces on one another. So, pasabot ana, nga mga gas molecules daw, dili maka-attract with another molecule of gas, o dili po sila mo-push with another molecule of gas. So, kung mag-collide sila, yan, yung collision of course, na ay kini ang um, force at saka energy ng gamiton, that will make the gases uh, somehow more push. But again, there is no repulsive, repulsive forces uh, in each molecule of gases. And then there is also no attractive forces in each molecule of gases. That is why dili mag kumpul kumpul yung mga gas molecules because they do not have a, an attractive um, force. Okay? 
So, the fourth assumption, the average kinetic energy of the molecules is proportional to the temperature of the gas in kelvins. Okay? Um, but pasabot ani na yung um, kinetic energy sa gas, okay, yung average kinetic energy is sa gas, is proportional, okay, when we say directly proportional, to the temperature of the gas in kelvins. So, kung taas ang temperature sa gas, mutaas po ang iyang average kinetic energy. Again, if mutaas ang temperature ng gas, magtaas po ang iyang average kinetic energy sa gas in that particular system. For example here, <clears throat> okay, so at 325 Kelvin here, ang average kinetic energy niya is 4.05 kilojoule per mole. However, if you're going to increase the temperature, mag-increase po ang iyang average kinetic energy. So, let's start to hit this one. Ayan, as you can see here, nagtaas ang iyahang average kinetic energy because they are proportional. Yung temperature ni gas at saka yung average kinetic energy ni gas they are proportional, meaning to mag-increase si temperature, mag-increase po ang average kinetic energy ng gas. And if mag-decrease po si temperature, as you can see here, mag-decrease po ang average kinetic energy ni gas. Okay, that's the fourth assumption, last, fourth and last assumption ng um, kinetic molecular theory of gases. So, any two gases at the same temperature, will have the same kinetic energy. Okay, for example, magdugang tag, isa ka type of gas here. Let's add uh, gas B. Okay. Um, oops, pagawas na. Pasulod tag gas A. So, gas A and gas B ato ay pasulod. Okay. 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 So, as you can see here, si gas A o si gas B at 295 Kelvin na temperature, the same ang ilang average kinetic energy, 3.68 kilojoule per mole. Okay? Um, if we're going to increase the temperature, ayan, okay, ayan, the same po ang ilang average kinetic energy. Okay? Ang temperature nila is nag-increase mo po, which is the same. Okay, that's, that's for the fourth assumption na the kinetic molecular theory of gases. So that's it for gases. Um, please study for this one because this will be included in your final exam on Tuesday. So Tuesday na ta because uh, we're still in the process of putting your exam in the Google form. Kaya inyo ang final exam will be um, online. Okay? So, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. I hope you have learned something from this one.